People ask me if I've always been an avant-gardist. And the short answer is no. Though I do not doubt for a moment that the avant-garde was somewhere buried within me. This is reflected in my musical performance, both classical and otherwise. And my um, art, of course, which today ranges from the abstract expressionist to what is clearly more identifiable as avant-garde. I did not begin that way and for many years I was, I suppose, a naturalist. This painting in view now of Lucia, published in 1991, uh, was completed in the 80s at the culmination of a long case and it reflects perhaps the final breath of my naturalist fine art. I began really in the 60s as an artist and um, I think a lot of it was naturalist, tinged occasionally with something more expressionist perhaps. But this, in the early part of the 1980s, was my last foray into what can sometimes be described as fine art or natural representation of the subject. From then on, my art became more expressive, more expressionist, and I, I suppose I could only be described as an avant-gardist. The same applies to my music. I began performing classical music, oh, certainly in the early 60s, if not before, and I played classics like Chopin, I did tend to extemporize and um, then Chopin would have uh, welcomed that and improvised uh, somewhat expressively to lend my own feeling to the piece. I think as a young man, uh, teenager, one of the places I most fondly played was um, A Nocturne by Chopin, which I did tend to improvise by making it even more romantic than it already was. And I did the same with other pieces. I, I did play publicly and was the invited guest performer at a number of events. And like my art, this too developed into something freer and more expressive. I don't know when I was playing on reed instruments, notably the saxophone. 
I was playing, uh, I wouldn't say straight jazz, but a free form of jazz. Uh, lots of uh, improvisation, of course. Uh, but recognizably in the beginning, bebop, recognizably something which people could cope with easily. Um, time saw me become more avant-garde, more out there, I suppose. Um, the Sixties certainly uh, saw a beginning to, of that. I was playing a lot publicly and uh, certain venues there was one where we had a residency in Chelsea but it was a, a graveyard shift it was very late every week <coughs> quite famous people came uh, to there were tables in front of us and it uh, allowed us to really experiment and I I experimented to the full as did my colleague on the on the guitar Chips Valley, but he was very, very uh, good, very talented, could play almost anything on the guitar. And I had had a career in playing, I suppose, rock and roll saxophone, blues and um, jazz. Uh, I occasionally, as at the uh, um, v venues that wanted strict tempo, I was able to do that too. But by the end of the 60s, I was straying into something far more expressionist on the horn. and. Uh, this became notably more and more avant-garde, recognisably so by the 70s and the 80s. And uh, it was an, an evolution which today leaves my art, my music and, and all forms of artistic expression quite avant-garde. I leave you with this striking portrait in oils on canvas of Lucia which permanently hangs in the green room which is clearly natural and naturalistic with elements of what the story surrounding her contained uh, and uh, I'm of course pleased with it but I would later venture into something altogether more expressive. Not always understood, not always welcome, but often uh, enjoyed. Because it is my belief that the artist must be true to him or herself, must be free, and must always paint from feeling. Even in this figurative portrait we are now looking at, it was painted, anyone that's read the book 
at which end it appears. I need not name the book. I think it's pretty obvious which one. Accept it as a final and irrevocable picture of what had happened between the 60s and the early 80s. It will always remain hanging in the green room privately to be enjoyed, to be felt, to be seen as the last chapter of a very unreal time where the supernatural merged with the natural. I hope that's contained in the picture too. The supernatural beginning to merge with the natural portrait. So that's my history, which has brought me to where I am today and have been for a little while. Expressionist and indubitably avant-gardist.